This is Ableton Certified Dub Spot Instructor Thavius Beck with another edition of Did You Know? Did you know that you're able to route audio from one return channel to another? Well, you can. If you look at my live set right here, I've got three tracks with stems from an old beat, which I'll launch in just a second, and two return channels, and I also have my sends visible. All right, Just do that by clicking on the S over here on the right-hand side. And as you can see, the sends on my returns are grayed out. They're disabled by default, all right? Whereas the sends on my, well, these are audio tracks, but if they were MIDI tracks as well, the sends on those tracks are enabled by default, all right? So why is that? Well, if we go over here to the sends on our return channels, if we just right-click on them, we have the option to enable either the individual send or all the sends, all right? If we go to a send that's already enabled, we have the option to disable the send or all of them. So why is that interesting? Well, it gives us some new flexibility uh, and options when it comes to routing our audio within live. So let's check out a few applications of this. Again, let's listen to the three tracks that I have. All right, we got some drums, we got a guitar sample here, and we got a little synth, another oldie but goodie. So what I'm thinking might be cool is what if I drop a reverb on one of these returns, like I'm going to do now, and maybe I'll send the uh, guitar through this reverb. All right, so let's play this. I'm going to mute my drums, mute that synth. I'm not concerned with those right now. I want to change the quality of my reverb to high. Uh, my reverb is on a return, so I want it to be 100% wet, so I only hear the reverb coming from that return. I'm going to increase the stereo width. Increase the decay time a bit, and I'm going to change the actual frequency range that's being fed into the reverb. All right. With that done, now I'm going to turn up my ASIN on the guitar. Now we can hear some of that reverb. All right. If I mute track two with the guitar, I can hear that reverb trail. Okay, the reverb decaying. Okay. So, all right, that's cool. Now, let's route that reverb into the B return and do something interesting with the reverb signal, all right? Now, again, I'm going to right-click on the B send. I'm going to enable this send, which will allow me to send reverb from my A return into the B return. Now, one thing I think would be cool, let's revisit something that we talked about in one of the earlier videos, which would be the ping-pong delay and the repitch mode in the ping-pong delay. I'm going to drop this on my B return here, all right? Now again, I want this to be 100% wet. And I also want to enable repitch, so I can use this like a tape delay. Cool. Now let me go back to my reverb here. Now just so you have an idea of what I'm thinking before I actually do it, what I'm thinking would be cool is to feed the guitar into this reverb, okay? Maybe increase the decay time, have that being fed into the ping pong delay, mess with the sync rate, and then freeze that so we get the reverb being sped up or slowed down, going through the delay, frozen, in addition to the reverb that we have happening here, and all this is going to be coming from our guitar, okay? It might work. It might not. I think it'll be cool. The point is, we can try it, so let's try it, right? Let's play this, uh, and actually, I'm going to increase the decay time even more just to exaggerate the fact. All right. Now, again, my send on my A return, it's all the way down, but it's enabled, right? So let's turn this up and start sending it to our ping pong delay. And let me see, I'm going to actually change that. So now again, all we're doing is grabbing the reverb, okay? We're not using any of the dry signal because all we're sending to the ping pong delay is the output of the reverb, which is 100% wet, right? So check this out, let's do this, okay? My decay time is really long, so I'm going to mute track two. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, let's try and grab it again. Let me see, I'm gonna do something. All right, this is what we'll do. I have the sync rate up pretty high over here. And then I'm gonna cut this off, and then we're gonna slow the sync rate all the way down to 16 sixteenths, or so that it's delaying every bar, all right? So hold on. All 
Nice. So I'm gonna leave that frozen. That's happening over here on my B return, okay? I've still got the guitar coming through here. And actually we can turn this end down now. And then when I bring my guitar back in, it's still gonna go through the reverb here. Now maybe I'll turn this decay time down a bit. Very cool. So anyway, that's just one application of being able to send audio from one return to another. The more flexibility you have, the more creative you can be, and just let your mind run wild with the possibilities and ideas. This is Ableton certified Dubspot instructor Thavius Beck signing off, and now you know. Welcome to Dubspot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, Dubspot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you come to the right place. Come explore Dubspot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.